team here are very excited to talk about the new uh, instant vap vaporizer come from Europe. We have the uh, distributorship for it in New Zealand. And it's made from very high grade stainless steel and solid state electronics to last a long time uh, with long trouble free running and it's for commercial beekeepers. It's powered by 18 volt batteries. This is one version that uses a Makita battery and uh, just clicks in like that. Very simple, the common power tool batteries. Got a voltmeter here showing 20.4 volts with a fully charged battery. Um, there's the various options you can get for the batteries. Um, Metabo, Milwaukee, Bosch, DeWalt, as well as the Makita. There's also a 12 volt version available. It comes with um, leads, just click on to a 12 volt battery. We also supply a couple of little silicon tubes to go on the nozzle. So one you can use as a, as a cap if you wanted to transport it in the car so it didn't fume in the car. And then we suggest you cut the end off one. So then if it is contacting wood or plastic, um, it is like an insulator, a silicon tube. So that's showing a full face mask, uh, which gives eye, good eye protection as well. Um, some people just use a half mask, but um, eye protection is recommended. So it shows the gauge on, on it heating up, 181 degrees. It shows the dispenser nozzle. That's adjustable from one gram to four grams. Very simple to use. Dab it into the acid crystals and um, just, it pops on the top with an O-ring seal. So on this particular hive, we're actually going through a, uh, a vent in the hive mat and um, pushing the uh, vapor down right through the hive. Um, most of my hives have vented bases, so instead of blocking the vents and trying to do it from the bottom up. It's awesome if you can do it from the top down. That is a solid base, it's non-vented. So you do a two gram dose there. Uh, on the vented bases, I normally do a three gram dose so it's going from the top down. And uh, that's very effective. So this is a hive that's got a honey super and it's got a stainless steel queen excluder with a little gate at the front that's closable. So I'm just um, vaporizing straight through the, uh, the gate of the queen excluder. And once again, it's got a vented base and um, I've shut the vent. I've shut the uh, door on the excluder and you can see the vapor going right through the brood nest and out the bottom. Very good penetration. The dispenser nozzle is um, very easy to use. The little o-ring seal on the top, I usually put a little bit of Vaseline around it so it just pops in and out easy in there. One little push and it drops into the hot chamber and that uh, with a two gram dose which is good for most hives. That takes around 18 seconds to fully vaporize. You get a good blast out that nozzle. So this product comes out of Europe. Um, a very clever electrical engineer, certified engineer, Mr. Janos Finisti designed it. He grew up with bees from the child and um, wanted to design something that was very effective, good value for money and lasted a long time and good for commercial use. And he's made a, a very, very good job of it. So this is gonna be, it's already been a very good seller in America when it was released there earlier this year and uh, very popular. They've been sold for over 12 months now and uh, Janos told me the other day that he has not had one person want to return it. He's also done quite a good study on the um, 
output of oxalic acid after vaporizing. Now, the, the assumption here that uh, we're only talking about oxalic acid, there is obviously conversion to formic acid and decomposition to other products, but very interesting what he um, came up with here. And um, 230 degrees Celsius is what we recommend setting the device to. At this stage, unless further tests show 250 is better, but at 230, you get 50% of what you put in, you get 50% out. Now, if the temperature in the hot box drops to 200 degrees, you only get 32%. So some beekeepers like to do a four gram dose, which tends to cool the hot box, and so you may end up only getting 32% out of that four grams. Whereas with a two gram dose, it maintains the heat and you get close to 50%. We did a test four and a half years ago using a um, queen cage frame to create a brood break. Um, oxalic acid vaporization does not kill mites that are under the cap of the brood. So if you can create a brood break, you can get a very, very high kill rate. We trap the queen in there for a period of time. Um, and then when there was no capped brood, we vaporized and then did counts, as you can see. 12 days later, we did a sugar shake and it came with zero mites. And then we were getting zero drop the next few days. And then one mite turned up, probably from a proper bee or a social bee visit. But it just showed, it proved to me that vaporization is very, very effective. This is the queen cage frame that um, comes out of Europe, which is, takes the place of a frame in the hive. And um, because it's so big, you still get very good pheromones spreading through the hive. They don't try and supersede it. And um, plenty of nurse bees can go through this queen excluder the mesh to um, care for the queen. There's also a three quarter depth version Vaporizing definitely has its place. It's an awesome tool as an extra, to give an extra knockdown for varroa if you're worried about varroa numbers. Um, instant vap is a very safe option. You're not worrying about 230 volts, which can kill you. Um, you know, leads on wet grass is dangerous. We're only talking 18 volts, uh, very safe and very quick. Not worrying about generators and all that sort of thing. Now they're on our website, so, Go and jump on there and go for your life.